Name and uh, talk, say that you're representing. Uh, Dave Senjo, I'm a state senator from okay. Rochester. Well, I'm not hearing a lot, but you know, I, I maybe wouldn't. This isn't necessarily my district, but but uh, on the other side of the ledger, this is this is sort of my home family area, so uh, I thought I might. But so a couple of just observations. I, I, I came out because I wanted to see a community notification meeting, uh, how they were run, what what they consisted of and, and how the people reacted to them and I thought it was a I thought it was a, a good a good meeting uh, I think people got their questions answered uh, and I think it, from a legislative perspective it certainly I think achieved what we would want as legislators for this kind of a meeting to uh, to develop in terms of knowledge so so I think that was really good and I'm glad it came out for that reason uh, and from what standpoint of what I've heard really not a lot I think anytime this happens so in, a, in a neighborhood or a community there's going to be there's going to be concerns. It's just natural, and uh, I think the staff did a pretty good job of alleviating those concerns. Uh, I'm sure there's people walking away that still have some. Uh, I do think there's one thing legislatively that we need to do, and uh, uh, probably will sponsor this next year. Is we have these meetings. I think I think it's incumbent for staff to be able to tell people, well, where is this house? Where is it going to be? Uh, right now, because of privacy laws, they can't. I think we need to change that. Uh, I think there's little little need to have a community notification meeting if, uh, and tell people about this offender if you can't really tell the people also, well, okay, this is where they're going to be. I, think, I don't know, it seems like an incomplete, at least, in terms of uh, past legislative history. I, I don't understand the privacy issues here. Uh, maybe a little bit from the standpoint of the safety of the clients, but I don't think, generally speaking, the public's not worried about that. They're, they're worried about where this person is, and, and, uh, and if, if they choose to, you know, what, where they wanted to avoid. So uh, I, think, I, I think if we're going to do this, I, it just it, as a courtesy, I think the public ought to know where that location of the defender is going to be. Well, he served a, a sentence. He's still under the custody of the state of Minnesota. And so I think the state of Minnesota, if they're going to put him in custody in a community, uh, I, th I think we owe it to that neighborhood, that community, to tell people publicly where this site is. I don't think that's going to uh, make a lot of difference, except, except it, I think, provides some level of comfort. Okay. Uh, I think, generally speaking, that's the open question. People are walking out of this room tonight without knowing where this residence is. And, as I said, I think you know these kind of meetings ought to ought to convey that. If we're going to be open and upfront and transparent, I think that's kind of an incomplete that we need to take care of. But overall, I think the meeting was good. Uh, I think staff did a lot of uh, good groundwork to take care of uh, any concerns that might exist uh, and uh, try to alleviate them. Uh, but uh, you know, I think everybody's on board in terms of a good plan for this person. And, more than likely, he's going to go through the rest of his life being uh, non-event. <laughs>